Hello everyone, I just ended my live stream so I might look a little tired, so sorry about that. But today we are gonna talk about the raid and dungeon build for Blood Knight. Anyone that played Blood Knight already knows that single target damage is the biggest weakness of this class. So with this build we are trying to find a solution for that. And I think we found it. For example, when I was a monk I was able to kill the Kikuras boss in 6 seconds. And with this build I can kill it in 11 seconds. So it's not up there but it's quite good and I couldn't find anything better than this yet. So if you have a better build for raids and dungeons let me know in the comment section so I can check it out. Now we can start talking about the build. As always I am gonna start with set items. For this build I am using 4 pieces of grace to get an extra damage from my every 5 hit. And of course 15% increased damage for all my continual and channeled and persistent grunt damage. And for the other two pieces we are using with Urges for the extra duration on our beneficial effects. And before moving on to the legendary items, I am gonna show you my skills. I am using Shroud of Night, Swarm of Bats, Siphon Blood, Whirling Strike and Shadow's Edge. And as you can see this build has only one weakness and that's the mobility. It's quite slow so if you are running with a group you might fall behind but your damage is gonna be on point. Now we can take a look into our legendary items. For the headpiece I am using Horns of the Hex. Siphon Blood is no longer channeled and now moves with you, dealing damage and draining the life of nearby enemies. For the chest I have the influencer Shroud of Night now only empowers you causing every other primary attack the conjure a shadow operation to attack enemies. And if you are playing with a party you can use this one too, layered aims. Roll of Night now empowers you and nearby allies, causing your primary attacks to mark enemies for that. The marks explode upon reaching 5 stacks, dealing damage to the marked enemy. And that mentioned damage is around 55k for me, it might be different for you of course. And now let's continue with the shoulder piece. I am using Swarm Speaker, Swarm of Bats now engulfs you in a cloud of bats, continual damage into nearby enemies. And for the pants we are using Faces of Fading Merge, Swarm of Bats now also poison enemies causing them to take 5k continual damage for 3 seconds, which has to trigger 4 piece grace set effect. And for the first main ant I am using this one, when Siphon Blood damage the same enemy 3 times, it causes them to hemorrhage dealing 7k additional damage. And for the offhand I am using Mercy's Plight, Shadow's Edge now marks enemies, causing them to erupt for 32k additional damage when reaching 4 marks. And for the additional main ant, I am using Red Conquered, Whirling Strike now combust, causing enemies to burn. And that burn effect helps us to trigger 4 piece grace set. And lastly, for the additional offhand, I am using this one. After Shadow's Edge hits an enemy, two blades ricochet out randomly, targeting nearby enemies and dealing 23k damage to them. And that's all for the legendary items. And for the Paragon tree, I am using the Weaver. This gives me 15% increased damage and 6.5 critical hit chance, which is perfect. I will show you my full Paragon build at the end of the video, so you can check that out and copy it if you need it. And now I will leave you guys with the gameplay, so you can see the build in action. 